Psst, Tori here, uh, just popping in real quick so I can talk to you directly and also test out my mic to make sure I didn't break it while moving. So first thing first, I just want to be transparent with you and let you know that I really don't have a plan for my YouTube channel at this moment. I don't know when the next video will be, nor do I have a posting schedule in mind, but I do want to tell you that um, I have no plans to abandon this channel. Like I miss it so much. The past few months, I feel like a chunk of my soul has been chipped off and I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so I just want to like, say uh, yeah okay we'll we'll get back on the ball that's definitely gonna happen so what else um oh yeah about the sketchbook because i have a feeling a few of you are gonna ask about this in the comments down below and the sketchbook that i'm using is the strathmore mixed media 500 series um, i have not used this before uh, okay to be honest my first impression i wasn't immediately in love with it um, I've had other sketchbooks that have like grabbed me instantly and this one just wasn't that first initial click, but I really want to give this a throw shot and I, I have an inkling feeling that over time I will grow to learn, I will grow to learn, <laughs> I'll learn to love this sketchbook. Um, since it is a mixed media paper, it does warp a little bit more than a traditional watercolor paper that's much more substantial and thicker. Um, but with that said, I think this sketchbook has that advantage of being thinner so that way um, you don't kind of treat each page as it's incredibly precious and you can't make any marks on it or waste a page. Uh, there are 64 pages, it is 100% cotton, acid-free, archival quality. Um, we'll see how this goes, uh, time will tell. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, life has been a little chaotic on my end and I'm determined to just get a rhythm back in my life. So I do want to say thank you so much for your patience in the meantime as I get my ducks in a row with both of my workspaces and setting up this new home and making it work for me and just, I can't wait. I just want to create. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is just like shove art in my mouth and just like, go, 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 but I'm also like tripping over boxes. <laughs> um, all right, so wish me luck that this wraps up sooner than later. Ooh, uh, something exciting. I have a new easel that's in the mail that's coming soon. I cannot wait to get my hands on it and share it with you. I think it's a it's a different easel that you don't really see on YouTube. Um, it's a convertible easel. Uh, it's supposed to work with both watercolor and like oils and dry media. But anyways, uh, enough about that. 
that will definitely come very soon, hopefully. So thank you so much for swinging on by today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that it inspired you to create too. Like if you're currently in that spot in your life where you have not created in months, I hope this awkwardness of breaking the ice with your sketchbook and just kind of warming up to it again and accepting that um, things are going to be rusty, but I hope that by, you know, taking that leap of faith for building momentum again, I hope it sparks some excitement for you. Okay, okay, so um, I'll leave you be to enjoy the rest of this video. Have a great day, okay? Bye!